All right, welcome to an intro to the Elm programming language. This is a functional reactive programming language meant to pretty much take the place that JavaScript has in your workflow. This is great for people that don't like JavaScript for whatever reason. And it's especially great for people with a reactive or rather a functional programming background. Even if you don't have a functional programming background or if you're a beginner just starting, I would highly recommend Elm though. I find it much more concise and easier to understand than setting up a JavaScript environment. Not necessarily than JavaScript it itself for everyone. I, I have a hard time understanding JavaScript code, but I know a lot of people think it is a very easy programming language to get started in. But specifically, the biggest issue I have with JavaScript is getting a good JavaScript front-end apps environment set up. Basically, getting all of the libraries and, and all of the boilerplate that you need to get started, especially with something like React. Do I use Redux or Flux or what, whatever? In Elm, there's just Elm. Elm itself is kind of the framework that you use. You'll learn about the Elm architecture either through exploration of your own or if you watch the next videos in the series, we will cover the Elm architecture. But that it basically, that's a bad way of explaining it once you get to know a lot more about it, but that's a good way to think of it as a beginner. It is like a language and a framework to get you started and it has its own compiler and everything. So the, the environment's already set up for you so you can just get up and running with Elm, which I love. So basically to install it, you're just gonna go to install. There's a Windows, Mac, and Anywhere installer. I'm gonna open the Mac one. You'll see I'm using Safari. I'm actually gonna switch that. Uh, I use Safari basically uh, when I'm recording because it's a little less intensive on my computer. But so while that Mac installer installs, uh, basically I'll just show you, you know, it's, it's simple. You can upgrade it through various ways. Uh, I think you can just upgrade it through running the installer again or you can do it from the command line. Let's open that up so I can show you what it is. It's basically just a, oh my goodness, it's a disk image show in finder. Hopefully I don't have weird stuff in my finder. Open. <laughs> Not that I would have weird things, but so it's ba basically just a Mac installer as you would expect a game or any other application to have, it's going to install the Elm programming language. Just follow through that. I already have it on my computer, so I'm not going to. And that will let you have commands like Elm Make or Elm Reactor. Elm Reactor is basically a way to get Elm running and compiling live in your browser. This will allow for things like the time traveling debugger, which you might've heard of coming into this video. If not, I'll cover that in next videos uh, going forward. You can also use Elm Make, Elm Package, Install. So let's start. Uh, go to your directory that you're gonna be coding in, mine's called Tutorials. Let's do Elm Package Install. Let's just start with the base one. So it's gonna ask if I approve of this plan because it doesn't want to just make changes without basically uh, my permission. I gave it permission to do so. If you come over here, you'll see an Elm Stuff folder. That's gonna be all your Elm business, you don't really have to worry about it, and an Elm package JSON, which has the Elm core app in it. Let's install something we're going to need in a little bit for this tutorial. This, I'll give you a second to look at it. Basically, it's an Elm package. You can find them in elmlane slash packages, or elmlane.com slash packages, I believe. Uh, this is by the creator of Elm. It is their HTML package, so you can have a virtual DOM similar to React and other things, so you can do blazing fast DOM manipulation. So if we come back, you can see now that this has been added to our Elm package.json. And let's make an Elm file. Uh, you're gonna end that in the extension .elm, which is what all your Elm files will end in. And let's get some boilerplate code out of the way. I don't know if you actually need this for what we're doing. I do it on everything now, just declaring a module that will be used. And then this you will need for sure. So we're going to import the HTML package basically that we just installed, exposing 
everything. And you do that by two dots. Now, you don't have to do everything. Let's just do this to show you. This is all we're gonna be using in this tutorial. It's the H1 and text properties of the HTML library. Basically, think of this as like, you're importing parts of HTML. So we need our H1 and text. If we needed everything, H1's P tags, H2 tags, image tags, you would do that. If you needed just three things, you do H1 text. The text might be confusing to you, but I'll explain it in a minute. So basically we're just gonna start with H1 and text, just to show you how it works. And I actually don't need this because we're not going to use it, but I want to just show and talk, show it so I can talk about it basically. I will go over everything I'm writing in just a minute. I just wanna make sure to get it out of the way so I don't forget anything. And uh, hopefully I'll remember how to type in the process. So basically what I'm doing right now is writing my view. And I'll go back to what the main equals view and the HTML attributes do in a second. But this is the syntax for writing HTML in in uh, Elm. So basically everything is two lists and the first list will be the things that you would typically put in your opening tag. So if this went into my opening tag, then that class equals hello would go into my opening list or my first list and it would look like this. And this, the attributes, is imported like class or ID via this import HTML attributes. So that's why I included that. We definitely don't need it right now. So let's just get rid of that. That's just a little bit of moving forward so you better understand what that first thing is for, first list. The second list is going to be your content. And in this, we're telling Elm that it is text and that the text is a string, hello world. The main equals view is basically, this is some Elm architecture stuff that you'll have to worry about in the future. But right now, don't worry about it too much. Basically know that you have a main app. We're telling that, we're passing it or giving it the view. We're telling it to show the view. And then we're telling it that the view is this H1. Super easy. So hopefully you're following along really well. We're gonna run Elm Reactor, which is one of the things that came with the core language that we installed in the beginning. And that basically just lets us view, or it rather uh, runs and compiles code. As soon as Google Chrome starts up, I'm going to give it this. Sorry, my internet is, or my computer rather, is being very slow right now. And it is because it can't handle recording things really high quality, but that's fine. So we're going to open our Hello Elm app. You can see other stuff like the Elm stuff and the Elm package JSON. Basically anything that is in that file that I made, the tutorials file, because that's where I'm running Elm Reactor from. And there you go, we have Hello World in our browser and it's written entirely in Elm code. And we could easily change this and it will compile for us via the reactor. And as soon as we refresh, it'll say dank memes. So if we want to make this into a all HTML file, we would do Elm make hello Elm. And now you'll see we have an index.html and we can just open that up like you would open any uh, index.html file. So let me go into my code, Elm tutorials, index.html. And then as soon as this, there we go, there it is again. So basically, let me open that up to show you that made an HTML file that's gonna take a minute to, to start up. This is all just HTML and JavaScript and some CSS, I believe to give us our Elm app and to run anywhere you want to put that, just like any other HTML file would. So I, you could put it on GitHub pages, I think, even. 
So that's a good intro to Elm, I believe. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will help you out. And until next week, that has been Levi. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.